moving on to our June show. Neil Simon is the world's most successful playwright and the patron saint of Broadway. Uh, 1965's The Odd Couple is one of his most popular and enduring comedies. It was made into a film, of course, in 1968, moved to television in 1970. Um, since then has been revived on television twice, uh, this year most recently. Neil Simon himself revised the play for a female cast and a successful Broadway run. Um, it is a timeless and unstoppable American classic, and we are very excited to turn the show over to returning director, Daniel Ellis. Let me just say, first of all, I am super excited about doing Odd Couple. Um, how many people in this audience have seen the movie version, the play version, or some version of the Odd Couple? Wow, how many people haven't? Those people that raise their hands for haven't, let me tell you, you're in for an absolute treat. Neil Simon, as, as Laura just said, Neil Simon is considered to be the most profitable playwright in American history, and arguably, next to Shakespeare, one of the most performed playwrights in the world. Um, his plays, he has written over 30 plays, over 30 to 40 screenplays, television shows. He is a man to be reckoned with in terms of the American theater uh, canon. Um, the Odd Couple is probably his most successful and probably his best known. Um, as Laura said, uh, it has um, generated a, it was originally in 1965, it won five Tonys. Um, it later came back and was a movie. It's been a movie twice. It's been a TV show three times. It's gone back in a revival in 1985 in an all-female version. Um, and then just recently, back in 2014, he wrote a kind of, quasi-sequel, quasi-play um, called Felix and Oscar Revisited, in which he looked back again at these characters years later. Um, it is a fun, fun show. It's um, everything that um, Anatomy of Grey is, this show is not. <laughs> this show is not meant to be profound. This show is not meant to cause you to walk away thinking profound things about the medical profession. It is caused, it is written to be nothing but to ensure high laughter and high fun. Neil Simon's characters are some of the most grounded characters, some of the most natural characters, and also some of the funniest characters ever written. Um, his characters are meant to be looked at as a small slice of life in which Neil Simon himself talks about that he draws his characters from his tr uh, Jewish tradition where humor is looked at as both a part of yourself, a part that sometimes you don't want to reveal, and a part of, of the therapy that you go through to, in order to heal. So for those that don't know the, uh, the plot of the odd couple, the two or three in the room. Two suddenly single pals, a sloppy sports writer and a fastitious news writer, strain their friendship by turning roommates and unconsciously repeating the same mistakes they made in the marriages they just left. If you think oil and vinegar, you've met Felix and Oscar. Oscar being our complete slob, Felix being our OCD candidate of the year. Um, these two guys end up uh, deciding to room together and all hell and hilarity break loose. I hope that you come and join us in June. It's a great show. We are going to turn this entire stage into a Riverside apartment from the 1960s. Um, the costumes will also be from the 1960s, so it should be quite a spectacular show. I hope you join us and looking forward to seeing you then. Thanks a bunch.